everyone. So today I'm back to share with you my favorites and it's not necessarily just my March favorites. It's not just things that I've been using for the month of March. It's just things that when I think about it, it's things that I would like to share with you because I've been loving in general lately. Um, it's just easier for me to call it, you know, the month favorites just because otherwise it would be nearly impossible to keep track of my videos because of the titles and all that. But I don't do these every single month, but once in a while when I feel like I have good enough products, my favorites that I've been enjoying lately, um, I like to share them with you. So let me know if these are the types of videos that you enjoy. Don't forget to comment down below and let me All know. Right, so let's go ahead and get started. And first I'm going to start off by showing you the Scentbird New York Perfume. And I have featured this in my channel um, I think a while back, but right now they're having a limited edition one. and. Oh my god, I fell in love with it. I already liked the concept and I liked the bottle of the older one, which is, you know, just simple black. But I think they, you know, kind of improved it in a way. Not only is the limited edition so cute because it's not black, it's pink, but I think even the outside pouch is much more practical than the other one. The other one has like an envelope shape um, where I feel like when I carry it in my purse, it tends up ends up sliding out of it um, more easily. With this one, you just you know place um, the spray in here and then you do this. So it's just a, you know, a lot more efficient in keeping it secure in your purse. So the idea behind Scentbird, if you're not familiar with this, is that you can pay um, a fee, which is $14.99, um, I believe it's $14.99, but I will leave all the details down below. But you pay a fee and you can get um, whatever your perfume that you, you're liking at the moment, or if you're not sure what perfume you like, you can fill out a survey, a quiz, um, and it's automatically going to generate choices and suggestions based on what you filled out. So then you just pick whatever one you want to try and you can just get a different one every month or you can skip a couple months and just get it one time only. Um, for the other one, I had picked one by Lancome and for this one I picked my very favorite perfume which is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. So this is what it looks like. It comes in here, you just twist it up and spray it on and oh my god, this smells so good. I just love this perfume. Like I said, I got Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy, which is what is labeled on here. And then you just put it back in, twist it up, twist it down, and you just put it So my next favorites are actually two combined into one because they're brushes, and I just got them recently off of Ulta. And as you guys know and you've seen in my videos, I'm obsessed with the wet brush, and I use it daily to just comb out my hair, and it's just so much better because it doesn't pull out your hair, it doesn't break your hair, it's very gentle. A lot of people use it when they have kids. They use it on kids because, you know, kids are, you know, tough to brush their hair with. Um, so it's just a great overall brush. And I found out that Ulta carry the mini one. So I bought this one so I could carry it in my purse. And I actually like this color a little bit more. It's more of a, um, it's like a pink coral kind of color. Um, and which I really like. The other one is purple and I don't love purple, but at the time I bought it, that was the only color in stock. But I was so happy to find out that I could carry this in my purse and have the mini version. Typically I just carry, you know, the ones that are super cheap that you just kind of push out. They have a mirror, they're like three bucks, but I felt like this is a much better choice. It just does the same thing as my wet brush. It combs out my hair so nicely and it feels the exact same way except it's you know a mini size and it wasn't that expensive either i think it turned out to be like six dollars with a coupon so it's a great deal now the other brush that i'm really really loving and i bought this one at the same time um i've been loving this one because i've had one by olivia garden you know a couple years ago and then i left it at the gym and by the time i went back it got stolen so i was really in need of a good brush and my husband had gifted me one from um, the dry bar but that was $40 and when I found out it was $40 I kind of panicked um, I did give it a try I tried it once and I just felt like it wasn't worth the $40 it was still a great brush but it wasn't worth $40 at all so 
I went to Alton and I know Olivia Garden makes amazing brushes and this one was 20 so that's half the price and I used the coupon so it turned out to be 17 something uh, a little bit over 17 and I actually say I actually think I like this one much more because it's ceramic and it has a lot of spaces so it just allows the hot air from your blow dryer to go through really quickly and it blows my hair like it dries it so quickly and it's so easy to manage I also like that it has a pin at the bottom uh, which I think all her brushes do so that you can part it it just helps you part it um, the other dry bar ones didn't have that I love the color it's gold and brown I feel like it's and so next I have an eyebrow product by hourglass and I think I've shown this in my videos previously right now I have about three eye products eyebrow products that I like they're all completely different I feel like this is this requires medium work and then I have the one by benefit which is just a brow gel um, that's like when you're really in a rush that's really quick and then I have one that my sister gave me by Tarte and that one's the wax that you have to use the brush with that requires a little bit more time so if I want to do a more dramatic makeup I use the Tarte one and if I want to you know just do something really quick just to look me but better if I'm in a rush I do the benefit one but I feel like this is a happy medium and if I have a decent amount of time like on my daily basis I tend to use this one a lot I just really like it um, I am using the one in the color blonde this is a brow sculpting pencil so it has the spoolie on one side on one side and then it has the wax on the other and I really like the shape of it because it just makes it really easy the way that wax is shaped to just I don't know just to design your eyebrows and I like that it has a waxy consistency but it's also like an eyeshadow consistency so it's not completely waxy I really like it so that's what I use today to fill in my eyebrows it's so easy you do have to apply a little bit of pressure when you're doing it which is good because I feel like if you don't um, if you just go over some products you go over lightly and it's so pigmented but I feel like that gives you a fake look this one you apply a lot of pressure but it just creates strokes of you know natural tint which I really like and then I just go ahead and I comb them out and it lasts all so day. So my next favorite is not makeup related it's actually a water bottle and I really like this and I got this in a two pack from Costco um, I'm sure you can get this off of another website such as Amazon um, but the brand is kind of weird it's um, Takia T-A-K-E-Y-A -E I don't know if you can tell but I really like this because I don't like plastic bottles I just feel like even if they're BPA free which is awesome it's much better than not being BPA free I just still feel like if you keep it in your car or just by sitting having your water sit in plastic all day I don't think it's good for you I think somehow some components get absorbed into the water and you're drinking it so I feel like glass bottles are the way to go they're a little bit more heavier obviously but I love it I have the other ones green this, this one's blue and it is a little bit damaged because I've dropped dropped it quite a few times unfortunately like I take this to work every single day so sometimes I'll be coming out of the car and I drop it on the cement floor and I'm just like oh my god one day this is gonna break but because it has such a sturdy lid and it has a silicone protector it hasn't even cracked or anything so it's great quality um, I wash it every day by hand when I get home um, and I just fill it back up with water because I have a filter at home so I fill it back up and then about once a week I do put it in my dishwasher to get like a good you know cleaning but otherwise you know on a daily basis I just clean it by hand with like a sponge and stuff so I really recommend this um, if you're looking for a water bottle this will last you a long time and it's a much healthier um, option for you than plastic bottle. So my next favorite actually reminds me of childhood because I went so many years without eating these that I thought I didn't really like them anymore but I have the low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese stick that looks like this and you guys may be like oh my god seriously this is in your favorites but I've been loving this I feel like I kind of rediscovered it and I just Costco was running like a coupon deal and I was like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to get it and um, see if I still like it. I used to like these when I was a kid. 
You know when at night you're watching TV and you start getting hungry, um, you know, you've had dinner, but then two hours go by and you're craving something, you know, usually I'll eat one of these. It's much better than, you know, indulging in chips or something worse. So I'll usually have these and then I'll have one or two depending on how hungry. If I went to the gym, sometimes I'm really hungry. So I'll probably have one or two and then I also have dark chocolate with it. But just depending on how hungry I, I am, you know, sometimes I just have one, sometimes I have two, sometimes I have this and some chocolate, but I feel like it's a much better um, snack to have than, you know, snacking on cookies or just candy or chips or, you know. And it's great because you can play around with this. You know, some people eat it differently. I know it's string cheese because you can take it apart in strings, but I'll eat it like that sometimes. Sometimes I just like bite at it. And it's good because it's low fat. It only has 80 calories. At least this brand only has 80 calories, which is a very light snack. And it has protein, so that will keep you full faster. So I've been really liking Last but not least, because I like to share the love with the other YouTubers out there, you know, I really, just by making videos, I feel like I've always liked YouTube and I've watched so many channels before I started my channel. But now that I have a channel and I know how much work goes into the videos and planning and all that, I feel like I have a higher appreciation for all the other YouTubers. So, you know, I just feel like it's nice to share the love and, you know, share with you YouTubers that I have been enjoying. So I've done this in the past and this month, not to say that this is the only person I've been watching, not at all. And I love other people just as much, but I just wanted to mention, you know, my favorite, you know, I feel like you jump on sometimes one person you're really in the mood to watch a certain person and then the following month you get more in the mood to watch another one it just varies but this month I've been really really enjoying um, this British beauty blogger and blogger vlogger um, her name is Amelia Liana and oh my god I love watching her videos first off the quality is amazing she has amazing quality you can tell she puts so much effort into her videos but I just love the way she speaks she's proper but funny everything she says is so funny like and I love her voice it sounds like she's always about to burst out into a laugh she's just very positive and she does amazing weekly vlogs and just I don't know if she does weekly vlogs or just vlogs in general but I love watching her vlogs um they're so much fun and she's just so beautiful but very down to earth and I really enjoy her channel so I will leave her link down below so if you want to go ahead and check her out she's very well known on YouTube so you probably already know her but I just thought I would share it with you because I have been loving her videos a lot lately. Alright so that was it for my March favorites I really hope you enjoyed finding out what I've been enjoying lately also let me know what you've been enjoying lately in the comments down below. I would love to see what your current favorites are. I really like, you know, to find out what other people are loving. You know, maybe I will read something interesting that will catch my mind and maybe I will go out and purchase it. Um, so yeah, just like the video if you enjoy these types of videos. Um, you know, I don't do favorites videos that often, so let me know if you want to see these more often or if you're okay with having them just once in a while. Just let me know in general, but by liking the video really helps me and also subscribing if you're not subscribed to my channel. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support and kind words and all your love on Instagram and Facebook um, and all the other social media other than YouTube as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well and enjoying this beautiful weather. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.